Hey y'all, Thought on the Beat here at NASCON, and here is my uh, first match against Matt Iverson. You're from Atlanta, yeah? Uh, no, I'm from Boston. Boston, all right. Yeah, this is uh, this is Matt. I have a YouTube channel, by the way. If you're gonna cool. Um, anyway, this is what the uh, initial setup's looking like. He has a uh, Lake Town White Council Alliance, and I have a Balrog uh, Memorialist. So this is uh, basically the setup for right now. We're playing Contest of Champions. Uh, let's hope this goes well. Hey guys, this is uh, Adam Titan in the Deep, and the game is over. Um, it was a uh, kick-ass game. Uh, it was a Christmas miracle I won because uh, his Iron Hills Chariot, which look at this thing, by the way, it's one of two, apparently, that we know of. And this is the uh, creator of it. This is uh, Matt Iverson. You said you're from Boston? Yep, from Boston. Boston. Right on. And this is his absolutely gorgeously painted uh, Lake Town Army. It's a well, White Council Alliance. Um, but yeah, check this thing out. It's got Killy, Philly, Dwallin, and Ballin on it. And I am just floored at how cool that thing is. But I'll tell you right now, it is a nightmare to play. It put five wounds, or no, four wounds on my cave drake. And it put uh, four or five wounds on the Balrog, maybe six. Because I did one accidentally with a Prowler, which is hilarious. Yeah, I did. I actually wounded my Balrog with a Prowler throwing an axe at it. Which that guy's probably going to get fired or something at the end of the game. Um, but yeah, so uh, that was the game, man. Uh, it was a contest of champions. Uh, this one I won 7-0 because I broke him and I got uh, one wound on Galadriel on the second to last turn. And Galadriel, he almost pulled off a pretty crazy ending by uh, getting multiple kills with Galadriel, but fate points don't count because he she attacked my shaman and did a wound to the shaman. Well, actually, the shaman saved it with fate, so it didn't count. Anyway, that was a really good game. Uh, really cool armies. Uh, uh, one of my favorite scenarios to play, especially uh, having him. That helps tremendously because if I would have brought my other Moria army, uh, Matt would have beaten the living crap out of me, and it would have been really, really entertaining. Anyway, uh, I'll... Uh, yeah, you got anything you want to say about the game, man? No, a lot of fun. Appreciate yeah. it, Adam. Awesome. Anyway, again, it's Matt Iverson from Boston. Uh, you guys have a podcast, yeah? You do. You welcome to promote it. Uh, unexpected podcast. Uh, yeah, and unexpected podcast. It's on YouTube and um, uh, also on whatever podcast you can get. And uh, there's four. There's four or five of us who uh, uh, discuss FTP stuff on a weekly basis. Sweet. Okay. An unexpected podcast. Uh, you can find it on all the podcasts. Are you on Anchor or something like that? Or is it just like you just look up your podcast? Just, look up, look just and, and Spotify, Apple Sweet. Okay. Yeah. So check out an unexpected podcast. And also on YouTube yeah. on the DCHL team. Okay. Yeah. And YouTube DCHL team. Anyway, thanks again, Matt. Appreciate you. And uh, right, catch you in. later on the tournament, brother. Best of luck, buddy. All right, y'all, I am uh, back here. Adam, tight in the deep. Round two is Seize the Prize. This is Nash Khan. Won the first round, uh, seven nothing. This is my buddy, Alex Ryger. Say hello, Alex. We are eventually gonna get a Moria versus, uh, versus Goblin Town game together, um, which is gonna be crazy because it'll be like 200 models. Um, here is his, uh, here's his army. You wanna introduce it? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we have a uh, Iron Hills uh, captain on a chariot, mm -hmm. and he's got uh, 12 of his best friends with him. Uh, we've got uh, Dane Ironfoot with 12 warriors, one of which has a banner. And we've got a goat captain uh, who's got the cape, and then five other goats. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so you saw his army. You've seen mine. We're uh, going to get this thing started in a minute, and I'll let you guys know uh, basically what happens because I can't film the whole thing. <laughs> Hey, so tight on the beat back. I actually won my last game, but it got a little crazy at the end, so uh, I didn't get to like, film the whole ending. Uh, we played um, Seize the Prize, and my buddy Alex actually got the prize, wounded the Balrogs, he had four, and then I broke him on the last turn, and I also killed Dane, which was a very, very fun thing to do. I hate Dane, so I won five to four, minor victory. Still doing okay. Um, you know, working it. Uh, you guys saw the table earlier. Hey guys, this is Adam Titan Deep. 
And uh, this is the third uh, match in NashCon so far today for me. Um, this is my buddy Richard Sparks. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> he is playing Uglug Scouts, which are pretty awesome. They move eight inches because of their uh, mm -hmm. their army bonus, which is crazy. Um, this is uh, my Moria army. This time we are playing Divide and Conquer. It's kind of covered up, as you can, you can kind of see there. This is the third scenario so far for the uh, tournament. Um, so far it's been, been going pretty good. I'll let you guys know what happens after uh, all the deployment and everything, and then after the game. Uh, this is the board we're playing on. Uh, there was a... Uh, Little thing. Oh, this is the Old Forest. Is the name of this board. It's pretty nice. It's got some cool terrain. It kind of looks like just little hills, maybe borrow downs. Yeah, it kind of looks like a borrow white, uh, borrow downs. Yeah, the thing that borrow whites. Kind of barrow weights, kind of. Yeah, kind of nice. The tunes. Very cool. Dried up. Got the green water in the pool. Yeah, all really nice. From right the on. evil, 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 evil fish. All right, so you got that uh, warband set up, and here comes the next one. Yep. Hey, all tied in the deep. Uh, Richard uh, Sparks and I just finished our game, and uh, this is the uh, end outcome. I ended up winning seven to two because my Drake did an awesome heroic combat and killed, I think, four guys, and then ran in and killed another two. And then he basically cleared out the middle of uh, Isengard's uh, forces. So that was the big difference in the game. Richard did a fantastic job of holding up the Balrog because I think he only had maybe seven kills. Yeah, Balrog wasn't a lot. Killed, I think five guys the entire game. It wasn't a lot. It was. It definitely wasn't a lot. And I lost. And he lost twice to his two combats. <laughs> one of these damn scouts like actually held him up two times, and one of them got a wound on him, so he got a point from that. So the game we played was divide and conquer. And like I said, Isengard, he got one from winning the Balrog, and he got one from holding the Western objective, because he had more bottles than I did by about three, I think. And then I took this one uncontested, and I took the center uncontested. Hurling is nasty. Yes, it is. Breaking up my lines really made a difference. Hurl is your friend if you're a monster. The monster's charge, yeah. And the heroic combat. Yes. Anyway, all right, guys. So, um, yeah, that was uh, that was this match. That was my third one of the day. Um, this was a this was a uh, seven-two major victory. Um, Richard did a great job of, like I said, holding up the Balrog, of swarming this western objective. He took out my Shatter Shaman. He actually resisted the Shatter um, with Lurtz. His one uh, one point of uh, I was gonna blow up Lurtz's sword. Uh, I got a five or a four, and I used my might to bump it to a five. And then you rolled a six, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was like good grief. That's happened to me three times today. Yeah, my Shatter has not been awesome. Like you were telling me, instead of putting way too much force on this hill, if I would have taken half of that and just put up swords to center, I think I would have been able to eke out. Body. Yeah. Been a big Absolutely. You feel right contested. The See how Dylan. Like, okay. <laughs> Hello, Dylan. you too. Dylan and I will eventually get a game in. We've been talking about this forever. <laughs> I've got to get Moria and uh, I've got to get. Yes, it was. Thank you, man. I did seven two. Um, I want to get Moria and Goblin Town together because I really want to play that. And we need to play a Moria Hobbit stand like a swarm. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. I don't have my whole swarm painted yet. I've still got like 50 more to paint. Oh my god. This guy has more hobbits than you can shake a stick at. I mean, I've probably got about 90 at this point. That's preposterous. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get more. I want a full 800 point hobbit. Yeah, that's awesome. But it's going to be a while because I've had no time to paint. Yeah. Those yeah. things take forever to paint. That's what happens when you, uh, you follow fish around the country for two weeks which is exactly what he did cheers <laughs> I no longer free base cocaine <laughs> hey this is a family show it's totally not every time I, I get around I no longer <laughs> every time I get around Evan it goes from PG-13 to something else anyway this is the uh, the tables today there is a killer Nola Bar proxy right here that this guy's playing uh, his uh, his his uh, Witch King is gorgeous too. That's a pretty cool Angmar. Man, anyway, it's been a great game. Lee, John, Ian, Alex, all fantastic players. Some of the best players in Nashville. We love these guys. Oh, that's that's uh, Austin over there in the Y. He ended up moving to Texas a while back. But um, yeah, he's he looks like Gandalf or Jesus, I guess. Whatever you're really into. 
Anyway, so um, yeah, Richard, thanks again, buddy. Um, any last words you want to say hi to everybody? Um, my Titan, my channel is called Titan in the Deep. Titan and, uh, in the Deep. Titan it's in the Deep. Guy. He helped me out with some uh, tips. I won't make that mistake again, so I'm looking forward to playing him again. Yeah, it's definitely. Exact same scenario. So uh, we're down the road. I don't know about this scenario. I don't like this one. I don't like the ones where you got to go from the corners. It takes forever. You know. And I learned the valuable lesson about crossroads. Yes. He can tell you all about it. I will sometime soon. Anyway, thanks guys. Uh, today, this is uh, Saturday um, at the uh, at NashCon. It's been freaking amazing. I mean, again, you can see there's still a couple of games going on. I think it's on the last turn because the timer is up. But uh, I'll post results, I guess, um, as we go and uh, show you guys where everybody's at. Anyway, thanks guys. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, tied in the beat. I completely forgot to do my fourth game. I lost seven to nothing. It was uh, a lot of shenanigans. Anyway, it was against a. Um, a Mordor list with the Witch King on Fell Beast, and also uh, the Shadow Lord, another Ring Wraith, and the Spider Queen. So they tossed in Dark Denizens, um, which I didn't even know were yellow allies with Mordor. Anyway, but they are, so you know that now. Anyway, now I'm playing my buddy Robert Loader. He's from Virginia, and right now we have uh, Minas Tirith against Moria. So you're seeing the battle lines are being drawn right now. It's weird to see a Goblin Shield Wall, but there you go. All right, anyway, I'll get back after uh, some of the stuff happens and, uh, yeah, let you know what happens. Okay, Titan in the Deep here. Um, we just played our last scenario. Um, it was Fog of War, and I ended up winning a major victory, 6-3. to three. Um, Almost got him broken. I missed by one model. He needed, uh, I needed 22 kills, and I got 21. I had traps out of the yin-yang with my goblins. Um, but my MVP, again, was my Cave Drake. I love this girl. She is a very, very, very sweet thing. Um, this is her buddy, the Balrog. He did a pretty good job today. He did lose one combat, um, which was really annoying. At least he didn't get transfixed left and right like he did in the, the fourth game. I don't want to talk about that game. Anyway, um, yeah, so he saved Denethor. Um, anyway, so yeah, I ended up uh, ended up finding uh, finding out how tough Minas Tirith is, man. I've never played against them with the White Tower Boromir, and he is a tank. I mean, that six might is bananas, so he's really tough to deal with. Um, when Robert comes back over here, I will uh, let you guys meet Robert Loader. He's a uh, great dude. Um, anyway, March on Music City. I ended up with uh, three major victories, one minor victory, and a major loss, which I, again, don't want to talk about the loss. Um, that was no good. You might hear about it on Evan's podcast, which is the uh, Chump in the East. But anyway, this is what the battlefield ended up looking like at the end. Um, I had my Balrog on his piece of terrain, took it. Um, I killed my target, which was Baragorn, um, with the Cave Drake on the last turn, because again, Cave Drake is awesome. If you don't have a Cave Drake, I would highly recommend grabbing one of those guys, because um, they are a ton of fun. That's technically not the Games Workshop when it's a proxy, but that's way more badass than the Games Workshop one. Anyway, um, my bats did pretty good today. I only lost them one time in like five games. Uh, Groblog got killed today, which broke my heart because that's the first time he went down the whole day, um, or the whole tournament. Anyway, this is again what it looked like. Uh, I got the piece of terrain, like I said, that I needed, and I killed the guy I was supposed to kill, and that's pretty much it. Hey, Robert, say hi to everybody on my YouTube channel. Hi, guys. <laughs> what you think about today's game, buddy? It was fabulous. Yeah. yeah Adam's a great player. This guy's he's awesome. A lot, he's a great player, lots of fun, um, and he didn't pay me to say that. Not much. <laughs> Oh, he, oh, wait. I guess you kind of paid me off yesterday with a burger, right? I didn't pay you for that, though. We're good. Yeah. Um, you anyway. got a discount rate because I, I dropped a drink. So how do you feel about your uh, how do you feel about your uh, your army? How do you feel about who was your MVP for your the tournament? I mean... Um, for my army, um, overall, I was very pleased with it. Uh, mm -hmm. I was playing a, a Minas Tirith with the Denethor and Boromir and a bunch of uh, minor heroes, some cavalry thrown in there. A lot of good balance to it. Um, I had, because of the army bonus for Gondor, um, got a plus up for Courage, and then also Warhorn. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times those two pluses for Courage came in really important. Um, have a lot of bodyguards in there as well, which comes in really handy to be able to charge things. Um, All those terror guys. Yeah, yeah th those terror guys are not so terrifying, unless it's a ball <laughs> um, uh, So I'm, I'm pretty happy with my army. Um, I, I, did, I did really reasonably well. Um, for MVP, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed all my games. I had a great time. 
Um, Who's your MVP uh, model for this game and the tournament? Oh, all four. Yeah, for the uh, MVP for uh, for this game would be uh, rest in peace, Hearn. Yeah, yeah, he did. did a cavalry end charge around and picked Bond. up the Goblin King at the very stretch of possibilities. At the very end of his endurance, managed to take him out, uh, which upset Adam greatly. Oh yeah, and, and, you know why? Don't ever forget this. If you have heroic defense, you have to call it in the heroic phase. So like, you can't call it in the combat. You have to call it like when heroic strikes and heroic uh, moves and all that crap happen. And I was just like, oh, snap. Because I thought you had to call it whenever the combat happened, but it's actually like at the beginning of the fight phase. So I was like, oh, my God, because that's what I screwed up on. Because I was protecting Groblog in this, and I thought I was doing my shaman at first, but I was still going to protect him. And I ended up kind of switching him up in my head, and I didn't call the heroic defense in time, and he got killed, which was really stupid. But it was brilliant by Robert because he... Basically tied up all my goblins protecting Girl Blog, and then came around the end and, and chopped his head off. <laughs> it, it was an incredible stroke of luck. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was yeah. awesome though. Yeah, that's the only time my dice did really well. Anyway, it's a great game, man. I appreciate. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, who is your so Huron in this game? Who is your MVP for the tournament? MVP of the tournament. Um, I'm gonna say um, Ezra Wood, um, and because uh, in part, I've known Ezra for a while since he first started playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's an incredibly fun player to, to play against. He's actually very good. And my first game against, I called him out in a, in a challenge for the first round, mm -hmm. and he played Ents. Yeah, so I had uh, contest of champions of Treebeard versus Denethor. Who, <laughs> yeah, so I, I still mean, get tickled. When I hear that. <laughs> yeah, so I had 42 models against this eight, <laughs> yeah, eight, six ants and two hobbits. God, well, that <laughs> is crazy. But, but we had yeah, a I don't know how you could have beat that with Denethor. Like, there's no way. Almost did. I mean, I guess you could have kept him and Boromir, like, keep striking over and over and over in combats and him getting wounds, but that's still just... Yeah, yeah Den in that game, I actually had Denethor got a kill on an end. Yeah, we had to have everyone surround the end, mm -hmm. wear him down, and we left one hole for Denethor to be walked up at the last minute to do the, do the final strike. And hit him with a cane. <laughs> yeah, 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 grandfather, come... Yeah, come, come or he could have just, they could have just showed him a picture of Denethor eating tomatoes. That would have done it, too. <laughs> yeah, the, all, the way that I almost went on, on the very beginning of it, because of deployment for a contest of champions, your champions have to be deployed within a three-inch circle of the middle. Mm -hmm. So Treebird was stuck right in the middle, and because of the terrain, there wasn't a whole lot of space. Um, Denethor was able to scoot out, but I had deployed um, Boromir and all of the Fountain Guards and everything like that, and so from the very first turn... Tree bear was totally surrounded. Wow! And it, with I have a whole handful of dice. I had like twelve dice against Tree Bear's three, and lost. Ouch! Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah, so it was possible. It's, it's always possible to pull yeah. out a win somehow. <laughs> it usually counts on dice. I heard that he. That I, usually lose. I heard that he used uh, Tree Beard's uh, hammer with Boromir, like grabbed him and started slinging around, smashing people. Oh yeah, he he did a puny god. When wow. He, when, he, when he lost it, when I lost that fight, he did a bash where he grabbed Denethor and went around the circle and killed four guys. Wow. <laughs> Those were the only four guys that, that Treebeard scored for a kill. Wow. Now, you know, and Treebeard's four to Denethor's one. Now, if I won that fight, Treebeard would be gone, Denethor would have won with one kill. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Well, Robert, thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. I'm going to hey, try to get some more interviews with people. And uh, say hi, Dylan. Hey, what's up, guys? How'd you do? Uh, won my last game. Wow. That probably put you in the top three. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how it all goes down. Possibly, yeah. I, was I think it's going to be tight. I was in fourth, I think, going at fourth or fifth going into that. So. I was fifth, and I just got, um, I won a major victory over him. So it's going to be really tight between all of us, I think. Okay. Anyway, all right, yeah, we're going to find out uh, in the next few minutes because Austin's going to start doing the announcements. Anyway, man, it's been a great tournament. I'm going to try to get some more interviews with other people. You can see Evan, that's the chump in the east over there. He comes over to the house a lot, and uh, he helped me make that awesome dead marsh board. Uh, that's Lee Ward, one of the best painters I've ever met. Uh, John Billy in the back, he's a great guy. Uh, Ezra in the back, great guy. That's Kevin, he's a great guy. A lot of our Nashville guys are here. We really appreciate them. And again, Robert, we appreciate you, brother. It was really, hey, really awesome to play. You're a great, uh, great sportsman, and it was just, it was fun. Anyway, God bless guys. I'm going to grab some more people here uh, probably after we do the announcements and I'll catch you in a bit.